There is a beast lurking in the dark woods of the American Southeast, said to have the ability to drive men mad with a single menacing glare. According to myth and folklore, the Wampus Cat used to be a beautiful Indian maiden. The men of her tribe would leave for days at a time on hunting trips, leaving the women behind, but the maiden missed her husband so much and was curious about what the men were doing on these trips that she secretly followed the hunting party one day. The maiden hid behind a rock, concealing herself with the hide of a mountain cat, and spied on the men as they sat around their campfire telling stories and doing magic. This was absolutely forbidden. A woman was not allowed to hear the stories or learn of the magic that they carried, and so, when the maiden was discovered, the shaman punished her by binding her to the skin that she had used to hide herself, turning her into a horrible monster, half woman, half mountain cat, doomed to roam the hills forever, howling in desolation and loneliness, and her desire to return to her human body. She became known as the Wampus Cat. And while many say that it's only another myth in the rich history of the American Indian, others will still point to the inexplicable sightings of a large black mountain cat in the American Southeast that have been going on for hundreds of years. In the early 1900s, a man named Jinx Johnson was hunting at night when the dogs he brought with him whimpered and ran off the path. At that moment, the hunter said that the woods became overpowered with a horrible smell, like a wet animal and a skunk. A howl shattered the darkness and the man quickly turned to see the golden eyes of a wampus cat glaring at him. Its white teeth flashed in the moonlight. Johnson, known for being a large, powerful man, screamed and ran to the home of a friend who lived nearby. He said that he could hear the beast behind him the entire way, its hot breath on his back. Hearing Johnson's cries, the neighbor opened the door for him and slammed it quickly. The door shuddered under the weight of the creature trying to get inside. The two men had to hold it shut. Johnson, being a religious man, read from Psalms in the Bible, and upon hearing the words, the wampus cat growled in frustration and abandoned its attack. The next morning, Johnson found his dogs huddled in terror in his neighbor's barn, and, needless to say, Johnson never hunted at night again. While you may dismiss this encounter as a rare but perfectly natural run-in with one of North America's native cat species, there aren't supposed to be any large black native cat species in that area. And if that doesn't convince you, I left out one important detail. The hunter claims that the wampus cat chasing him ran on its two hind feet. More recently, a man who had been camping in the Blue Ridge Mountains in Virginia with a few of his friends reported anonymously that while he was out gathering firewood, he heard one of his companions scream. A thing, he said, was holding his friend with a single hand. He described the beast as a walking cat, about five feet tall and thick-bodied. When he shined his flashlight at the thing, the cat creature hissed and ran away on two legs. The monster's victim had a small set of five puncture marks on one of his arms, and there were deep scratches on the victim's head. The campers maintained that the thing was trying to bite the victim's throat. Today, those who still believe in the tales of the wampus cat say that it kills livestock and steals children. Some say at night while you're driving on the lonely roads of the American South, you will sometimes hear an inexplicable yowl cut through the darkness. Some drivers even report a large black animal darting in front of their cars, illuminated only briefly by the headlights before vanishing into the night. Some say that if you encounter a wampus cat, it will steal your sanity, and her horrible visage will haunt your dreams until the day that you die. In any case, if you still don't fear the night sufficiently, perhaps you will take the advice of those who have encountered the wampus cat and take a powerful flashlight with you just in case. The creature, they say, cannot stand the light, and honestly, when you're walking along in the darkness, wouldn't you rather have it just in case those footfalls you hear following you turn out to be something that you thought was impossible? Wow.